So what is the norm? What is the status quo? How do you define family? Well, I won't go technical and give you a definition of the family, but you know, nowadays everyone has their own definition of what a family is. And uh, it's, it's just like any other word because it's part of language. It's arbitrary. It is forever changing. It is dynamic. It's never static. So family, what family is defined or how family is being defined now, it can be defined differently in even a couple months time. But uh, why am I thinking about family? I just came from my son's monthly devotions. It's a, it's just a, a gathering of all the students in his school and they have this program, usually an exchange of talent or you know, they showcase whatever. And um, that's the time of the month that I really hate because he sometimes needs to be in costume or whatnot, or maybe he needs to bring something to school and that would really cause me stress. <laughs> but more often than not, I find myself hating this devotions thing because it's when I get to interact with more parents of my son's classmates. And it makes me really conscious. And well, I can't help it, but I do feel conscious when this time of the month happens or, you know, falls. It, it, yeah, <laughs> when it is that time of the month. Because we're not really part of the norm. My family, as a family unit, is the exception to the rule. We are all familiar with the setup of the nuclear family where you got your father, you got the mother, and you got the kid or the kids. And maybe even the extended family setup wherein you got sometimes grandparents included in the household or maybe some aunts, uncles, cousins, nephews, nieces, you know, extended family members living under the same roof or, you know, uh, the dynamic is you're still one, considered as one family unit. And then you got me, the single parent. You only got, you know, you got the mother and the child, the father and the child, sometimes the aunt and the child, the uncle and the child. It's, it, it really doesn't matter who, as long as it's not, it's not the mother and the father combined. It's definitely not your normal family unit setup. Compound that with the fact that I'm gay. It is really a disaster. If you're going to think about it, it really is a stressful time for me because sometimes I really can't help but, you know, have these people ask me questions and I'm not really that comfortable sharing to everyone that, oh yeah, uh, I'm gay and I have a son. It, it, sometimes, you know, you tend to keep these things to yourself. It's not that I'm not proud of being gay. It's not it. I'm... I'm out as fuck, okay? It's just that sometimes it's easier to not tell people the truth. I'll let them just decide upon themselves whatever truth they want to believe it. So anyways, my point here is not that I'm gay, but rather my point is this is where I find myself um, always... Uh, this is the time of the month where I find myself really scared because I don't know how my son is going to be taking it. And the other day, I was talking about my son telling me that he wants to be a dad because he doesn't have a dad. Which is weird. If you're going to think about it, a four-year-old telling you that he wants to become a father because he doesn't have a father. I mean, what's the logic behind that? I don't understand. But... Here's the deal about us LGBT folks. We will always be a, a totally different form of family unit. Even if you are a couple with a kid, it's still gonna be two, two men with children or with a kid. Or two women with, a child, with children or with a kid. Or it may be to, oh, you know, maybe it is a male and a female, but one is trans, uh, a trans male to female or a female to male. It's still not going to be what you would traditionally define as a family unit. And nothing is wrong with that, right? It's just that sometimes people are so backward thinking that, you know, if 
it's not what uh, if it's not what they are used to they would automatically tell you that that is wrong and that's not considered as a family that's that's trash or whatnot right so I'm telling you guys this because this is one of the challenges of queer parenting not just a, being a solo parent it's it's not it it's actually this the dilemma of am I supposed to tell am I supposed to come out every single time to these total strangers there is always going to be a dilemma of you needing to come out and you know you also have to consider your 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 child how it's going to be affecting him or her I have to be honest I have not explained to my son what being gay is I mean I tell him that I like girls and I explained it to him in a very simple way I oversimplified it and said that you know what mom likes girls I like kissing girls <laughs> it's it's that's how I explained it and um, he pretty much accepted it but he is in that homosexual stage you know he's still into boys when I mean he's still into boys he is just his 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 world is just boys and girls I don't like girls he's still in that stage so he still kind of relates to that he thinks that we are in that same level wherein he likes boys because boys are fun you know they're fun to be with maybe mom likes girls because girls are fun to be with for her so that's how he sees it I really have not explained that I have romantic feelings for girls which is gonna be really tricky to explain how um, I'm not gonna go delve into that yet because I have not crossed that bridge yet but think of it this way guys we LGBT folks we will always be this I wouldn't say abnormal but we will always be this uh, we would always be different in a sense that they have not seen it yet or it's not that rampant it's not that um, it's not that visible yet but you know what I have not I have not lost hope that we would never need or we would not need to be feeling the way that I'm feeling right now I'm not losing hope I'm pretty sure in the future this is gonna be this is gonna be non-existent well at least one can hope right cross fingers so that's my wrap for today I hope you guys are having a good day it is a Friday it's gonna be the weekend again I hope you guys are gonna have a good weekend ahead of you and ciao